Hi, my name is Autumn Wintersgill from Knitting in the Red, and today we're going to learn how to crochet towel toppers. This towel topper was created with a fillet crochet technique using double crochet and chain spaces. First, make a chain that is the width of the towel that you want to put the towel topper on. The number of chains doesn't matter as long as the chains match the width of your towel. Add one extra chain at the end to use as your turning chain and begin double crochet into the entire length of these chains. Wrap the yarn once around your hook and go into the third chain from your hook to match the height of your double crochet that you'll be making across this row. As you can see, the number of chains on the side matches the height of the double crochet here. Continue wrapping your yarn around your hook as a yarn over and doing a double crochet stitch in each of the chains across the row. So this forms your foundational row for your towel topper. When you want to make a chain space to create the fillet effect for your towel topper, on the next row after your foundational double crochet, you'll make three chains to start your next row. Make your first double crochet into the first stitch and then chain one stitch. Skip the next stitch and then double crochet into the second stitch. This creates a space. Continue along the rest of the row placing these chain spaces wherever you want the chain spaces to appear in your design. On the next turning row, chain three to form the height of your double crochet and double crochet across the row again. When you reach the chain space that you made, do a double crochet into the chain space underneath the chain stitch that you made. And continue and double crochet across the rest of the row, making sure to double crochet into your turning chain to keep your edges even. And there we have an example of fillet crochet and double crochet that you can use for your towel topper. You would continue across your entire chain with double crochet, placing the spaces in a particular pattern however you want them as you're crocheting. In this towel topper I used a checkerboard pattern. You can use a larger hook or a smaller hook depending on the weight of yarn that you use. After you finish making a crochet block of this type of crochet, you'll fold it over and make a chain to put through the fillet crochet holes and tie in the back over your oven door handle and the rest of the towel hangs in the front. You'll attach the crochet towel topper to your dish towel using a blanket stitch. Again, my name is Autumn Wintersgill from Knitting in the Red and you learned how to crochet towel toppers. Mm -hmm.